Chase a bitch. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Grassroots Episode 7. We are just getting ready to play Southampton in the League Cup Round 2. Um, I'm expecting a jolly good eye in from Southampton in this one, but fingers crossed we'll give it a good go. I'm going to make sure I've got a... Uh, Um, blah, blah, blah. I can't remember his name now. Smith. Make sure I've got him on the bench ready for this one. So I can give him a little bit of playing time. And we'll see how we do. Good thing as a... Blah, blah, blah. Good thing, I suppose, is we're playing at home. Match today. Peninsula to Stadium for I'm round two, Salford versus Southampton. The former England striker Alan Smith. Our football today comes from the Carabao Cup. Thank Absolutely you. looking forward to this one. Yeah, a long way to go in this competition to get to the final, but good form here has a knock-on effect to uh, a club's league campaign. And that's what the managers will be most concerned about, I think. I mean, to be fair, I can't complain the way we started this season. Not conceded one single goal yet, but I have a feeling that's about to change. Yep, 1 0. <laughs> First five minutes. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, it was a decent move and to get some space in a crowded penalty area. Well, thanks very much, Michael Obafemi. So it's Southampton with the lead. The streak is over. <laughs> Come on, Salford. Let's fucking have them. Well, this could be a chance. Rooney! A good save. The goalkeeper to the rescue. Right, it's one against one. And this keeper's got a good track record in those situations. Oh, the crowd delighted with this. Maybe uh, this set piece could lead to something. Cuts it out nicely. Armstrong. I need to get into a defensive uh, James Ward Prowse. system here. Here's Rooney. Go on, Rooney. In on goal. In oh! Goal, you felt to level it up, but no. I was but sure that was going in. Chance. He's just got to keep his composure. Should be 1-1. One, one. Some goal news for you, and it comes from the Ipswich game, and we can hear all about it from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Fulham. 14 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. Well, we'll follow that with interest. Come on. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. And in he goes with the tackle. Oh, I kept it in. Well, it's hard to imagine with some good seasons recently for Southampton that they were not that long ago were in the third tier of English football. Well, it just goes uh -oh. to show what could be achieved by good management. They've had some canny bosses here and uh, good recruitment too. Fantastic the way they've established themselves in the top flight. Come on, Rooney. Surely the equalizer. Get in. The Come on, lads. And that is the equalizer. Well, that's a poacher's goal. Maybe not his most spectacular, but an important one here. Beauty. Could have been a penalty as well, to be fair. I was uh, tripped up then. If I'd have missed... Well, I mean, I took the shot, so I don't think it would have given me a penalty anyway, but if it had gone wide, I probably would have got the pen. It is uh, level. Both sides have scored one, here one. now. 1-1. Let's have it. Here they are, still probing away. Whitehead. Go on, Rooney. Rooney! 
Oh. Oh. A lovely goal by Adam Rooney. Isn't it? Free well. kick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He could go for goal from here. <laughs> I think he fancies this, you know. He's so capable from this distance. Oh. He's good at these free kicks, and that was that was a bit poo. Another special moment for him. Yeah, he does practice a lot on the training ground. Technique. Really good there. I've got to remind myself to get into those skill games for the free kicks and learn how to do them properly. Still can't Armstrong. do it. News coming in of a goal in the Ipswich Town match. The details. Oh the no, no, he's through. This is how they love to play on the break. Ah! Unlucky. He tried to blast it past him. Yeah, I thought that was a certain goal. The vital moment. Let him down there. Well, frustration from the manager, but by the same token, his team are playing well. They might have gone ahead there, but they'll get another chance. His team are playing well. well there for cutting Alan McAnally short. One all against Salford, and I've been the better team. I wouldn't say that's playing that well. Game, and the game is level at 1-1. Now, can he take them on? He's made the interception. Armstrong. Good ball, go on Danny. Put them in front here. Good in lad. Thinks he's Paul Pogba. But it's 2-1. Really I think maybe I should switch it up to world class at this point. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those Martin where every single player I think has, has got an 8 out of 10 at least and it's just all clicked out here today. We restart the game 2 1. Stuart Armstrong. Oh, that's a bad ball. Half time. Well, this is Wonderful half -time. first half. Is the Couldn't have asked for time. a better 45 minutes. Excellent going. A giant killing is on the cards. Well, so far anyway. And we've got another 45 minutes to go. And uh, set your watches, off we go. He wants to run at them with the ball. It's good to see. Oh my goodness me! <laughs> Incredible. Well, this is when it's tough being a goalkeeper. A little bit more on it, and it would have been a very fine save. As it is, he's picking the ball out of the net. Yeah, he sets high Seems. Up this lad, and I think he's just dropped below those. Just a reminder, 3-1 it is now, the scoreline. It's been a goal at Villa Park, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Scunthorpe United. 49 minutes played, 1-0. Thanks, Alan. Well, we'll follow that with interest. The visitors having lots of the ball. They're just not creating enough chances. They've been a little lethargic when they've got into the final third. They've got to liven up, be a bit more inventive. 
It's Ward Prowse. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. That's good passing, probing. Oh no, Obafemi. Good save, lad. Go on, Rooney. Go on, lad, put it away. Game over. Sensational game. Take a bow, son. He took it with greater plum, I'm sure. Could you imagine? The gave him the confidence to grab the second chance here. I don't think we expected this. Such a Actually, I might leave it on professional difficulty just in case I play the Scousers, because <laughs> that would be beautiful. Southampton lining up a substitution now. Stuart Armstrong. Nothing wrong with that tackle. In fact, it was a terrific effort. Smith. Go on, lad. Goal at Fratton Park. And it's Alan McAnally to tell us about it. Well, that's another foul. He has been booked. So we're going to see a double switch now. I have seen him try to go for goal from this distance, so don't rule it out. And the goalkeeper Very rubbish. hangs on well. I don't see why they needed to change the free kick system, to be honest. FIFA 19 was perfectly good. That Watford did score in that match. They are winning 2-0. Southampton ready to make an alteration here. And 20 minutes to go. Closing minutes for Southampton and they're in trouble. It looks like the opposition is in for an aerial bombardment here. Judging by the way the centre-halves are going forward. Some goal news for you, and it comes from the Ipswich game, and we can hear all about it from Alan McInnelly. It's the second goal for Ipswich Town in 73 minutes played. 2-1. Well, right on the spot there for that story, Alan McInnelly, of course. Good ball. Free kick, ref. Oh, come on. Fast coming and got there first. Couldn't keep it in play, it's gone out for a throw. Well, this is the time where the managers really earn their money. It's going to be an alteration. Looks like Southampton have vastly underestimated Salford City. Gets the ball out wide with time to assess the situation. Put away, but not out of harm. Oh, good save. He almost defied gravity to get to that one. Full stretch. It was heading for the corner, that one. Played in by Ward Prowse. Comfortable for the keeper. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. Oh, we hit it well enough. Uh, but as we can see, nowhere near the goal. Yeah, and his teammates aren't overly impressed with that. 85 minutes played, five to go. Five one. This is incredible. I think I really do have to switch it up to world class, don't I? My my. There's another one for them. It's certainly going to help the goal difference. It might be important at the end of the season. Well, we're in the last few minutes now, and the die has been cast in this game, really. Yeah, Emil Hoiberg. Here's Lemina. And the added time will amount to three minutes at least. Three minutes of added time. Mario Lemina. Oh, he's beaten his marker. Has a go here. He's reached it and he's caught it with a save. Brilliant. Unbelievable win. Referee is blown for the last time. 
5-1. Southampton are out. A confirmation there. Salford City are better than you. In this cup tie today. Well, they sailed close to the wind once or twice. Some good saves from the keeper, but I think they just about deserve this win. Sensational. Surely the equaliser. The goal is given, and that is the equaliser. Well, that's a poacher's goal. When you have 13 shots and 9 on target against the Premier League side, when you're in the League 2, I think it's time to switch it up a little bit. So, next game is going to be Leighton Orient. We will also skip ahead um, before the next one to see if... I mean, the next round of the Cup's probably not going to be picked until after the Saturday game, so... We shall see, but next next episode will be uh, the Leighton Orient game. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a bit.